Hey, what's up guys, Catswag here. Today I will be explaining on how to do a Renho Flare Fetish build along with the Tall Man's Finger. So, let's get into the skills. We're using Plague of Toads and Toads, now that's just basic for crowd control. Piranha's Piranado to group up the Martin CC. Spirit Walk John for survivability. Summon Zombie Dots, Burning Dots since we're going a fire build. Uh, Burning Dot is also the best... Uh, best rune, best um, build if you want to go fire build. Poison build is acceptable, it's not as good. It's more used if you don't have as much DPS and you need a lot of single target DPS, but in this build I have enough DPS. Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance, Gargantian Wrath Protector to be our elite killers. Our passives are using Midnight Feast to both buff our zombie dog and our Gargantuan. Fetish Sycophants along with Plague of Toads and the uh, Red Hole Flare is going to give us a lot of fetishes. Pierce the veil for the damage. Grave injustice to reduce the cooldown. Now, for the items, we're using three pieces of guild since we're not using any, uh, we call that Ring of Royal Grandeur. Mask of Gem, this is required. Try to get one with Int Vit Crit Chance, Int Resistance Quest Chance. Basically, depending on your gear. I have enough uh, Vit, so Vit would be pretty useless. Nice Ami, you want Trifecta, you want Attack Speed, Crit Damage, Crit Chance, High Int. Attack Speed is important in the pet build because, it, unlike the Jade, it actually synergizes really well with your pets. You want to try to hit 1.88, I'm over that, which is really nice. Tasker, Tasker Theos, this one is really bad, you want to have, to, you want to have a uh, Trifecta along with High Int. I'm trying to gamble them right now. You want to either Witching Hour or Heritage Race Guard. I like the Witching Hour because it gives me Attack Speed. And I need extra crit damage since it's not even. Tall man's finger. Now this one is really rare. I ha I have not actually seen one that actually is better rolled than my one. You want a trifecta if you can get one, but um, most people don't even have a trifecta or even have one of the stats. So you want to try to get int, vit, attack speed, or crit chance or crit damage. You know either or, or you can get all of them. I'm using a unity along with my follower. This is one, you know, trifecta as usual. You can't get a trifecta on a unity. Uh, Ukapian Serpent along with our zombie dogs. So we, in total with the unity and the Ukapian Serpent, we have a 80% uh, medication, which is really nice. Now the key to the build, the Renho Flare. Plague of Toads now seek out enemies and can explode twice. What this does is when you summon your toads, if you if you try to use this skill without the Renho Flare, what you'll see is it's just go, they'll just go in every direction, and it's not as useful. So this one, what it does is they home in on their targets, which they will follow their target, they will hit them, then they'll go through the target and then hit another target. I'm using two piece canes. This is just used for the uh, attacks. Me, what you can do is you can use jade pants and jade boots or hell tooth pants and hell tooth boots just for the 500% int. Uh, 500 int. 500 int. Sorry. Um, you don't want to use Zuni. You don't want to use Zuni because you you only getting fetishes through the fetish sick offense. Zuni does not work with that. If it did, it would probably be overpowered. Um, if you want to use the Sawmill Cookery, I have another guide on my YouTube channel, you can go check that out. It's um, probably the best build uh, above the Renho Flare build. Instead of the Unity, you can also want a Fire Sarge, you want Int, uh, Fire Damage, High Elite Damage, and either Crit Chance or Crit Damage. I don't recommend getting Attack Speed, because Crit Damage and Crit Chance are more, uh, more important than uh, Attack Speed overall. For Paragon points, you can put the rest into movement speed until you hit the cap. Excuse me, you have 25, put the rest into int. Offense, attack speed, crit chance, or crit damage, depending on your gear. You want to max attack speed, sp uh, attack speed first. Defense, depends on your gear, probably want to stack it into armor or life, but since you know, you're a, wi you're a witch doctor, you don't need that resistance, but I like the resistance. Put put in area damage, life on hit, <laughs> that the next one doesn't really matter. Um, some build variations. I see a lot of people. What they do is they will swap out um, Grave Injustice. They'll put, they'll put Zombie Dog. They'll s and they'll they'll do it like this. Or sometimes even even in some scenarios they'll put in Fierce Loyalty instead of the Pierce the Fail. I don't really recommend doing that. I like the cooldown reduction. It's just really nice, you know. I just really like cooldown reduction. Um, yeah. This um. Some explanation on the build. This build is a 
it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a uh, one of the top builds for sure. It's behind the uh, Sawmill Cookery. Sawmill Cookery is definitely the best build out there. Um, but Red Hole Flare is equally good. The perks of Red Hole Flare is you'll get a lot of CC, which the Sawmill Cookery don't get any CC because you in the Red Hole Flare you get the Adling Toads. Um, but you don't get as much. F um, you don't get as much damage as in the Star Metal Cookery. You get to always be in Big Bad Voodoo, and your fetishes you'll always be up. Unlike this one, where you have to generate fetishes. But what's better than the Star Metal Cookery with the Red Hole Flare is you'll actually be able to interact with mobs. Like Star Metal Cookery, what you'll do is you'll cast your things, you'll cast your and you'll just stand there. You won't do anything because you let your fetishes and zombie dog do all the damage. But in the Red Hole Flare, you actually get to you know, attack things. You get to interact. It's kind of fun. I personally ran the Star Metal a lot for a while, but then I got kind of burnt out with it, so I just swapped with the uh, into the Red Hole Flare. I got 1.4 million DPS one, and 8.2 million toughness. Uh, you don't need this much. This is just too much. You can you can definitely run this with 1 mil DPS or even lower than that, and you know 7 mil toughness will get you through T6 no problem. So yeah, let's uh, show a demonstration of the build. <sighs> so for the gameplay part of the build, what you'll do is you'll uh, Tyranado, you'll cast your uh, your Plague of Toes to get the fetishes running. It's a little slow at first. It's a little slow at first. Okay, good. Here we go. In leaf pack. What you're gonna do is want to you know, summon your gargantuan. You don't need a. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I wouldn't need big bad voodoo. I'll just kill this elite pack first. As you can see, T6 is not a problem. I'm getting really low frame rate for some reason. Hopefully, it picks up soon. Okay, so uh, yeah, big bad voodoo. This build really is really really good with life on hit. As you can see, I'm regenerating really fast. That's just ba just just from life on hit. I, I only have 13k healing. That's nothing. It's really the life on hit that's doing really well. Well, we're getting a lot of leaves here. As you can see, it's not really that hard. You know, three leaves all you know all together. Most builds probably do really badly against them. But which doctor? No. Okay, we're gonna have to get into a good position here. Hopefully, we don't die in the video. This guy's being haters. For the most part, you can just sort of stand back, like your fetishes and zombie don't do the damage if it's too risky. Probably what you should do. As a witch doctor, your pets deal a lot of your damage. If if the uh, Adling Toads had no damage and just the CC, people would probably still use it just because that's mainly what you want to use. Even though it's not even fire, this is a fire build. I do have a poison build version of this in my channel if you want to see it, if you want to run a poison build. Some people want to do the poison build. And another elite, wow, this is, this is, this is really good. I'm getting a lot of elites here. Wow, we're getting two, oh. Hopefully I don't die from this arcane, okay, I'm gonna have to step back here. Oh wow, there's another lead over there. What is this rift? This might be like... The, the lead rift or something, I don't know, it's very weird. Okay, my zombie dog died for it, apparently. I don't know, I noticed that my dog does die really quickly here. Oh, sh shoot. So, uh, yeah, we died. Um, I'm just gonna finish off the lead pack and then GP back home. It's kind of weird how we got like five elite packs and it's it's like the first minute of the rift. Oh. 
Okay, I'm just gonna summon my guard because uh, these guys have healthling and reflect damage, which is a bad combination. Don't know what is up with this rift though. I'll finish it off screen. It's not. It shouldn't be that difficult. Ah, uh, is this TP back home? I'll finish off the video. So, uh, yeah, closing points, uh, um, it's a good build, it's a very good build, it's, um, definitely top three, definitely top three, but it is behind the star metal build, it is definitely behind the star metal build. Uh, when ladder comes out, which is probably what you, most of, m most of the people are gonna do, this is probably better than star metal, since in high tiered rifts, your fetish is gonna get one-shotted. Or two shotted or three shotted, they'll kill. They'll get killed really fast. So uh, being able to summon more fetishes as you go along is really, uh, really uh, handy. But uh, I tested this out with my star metal. I got run times about eight to ten minutes with my Renho flare. I got nine to twelve. Uh, I think the f slowest was a thirteen minute rift. So yeah, if you want to see my star metal build, it is on my YouTube channel. It's one of my uh, um, recent uploads. You can check it out. If you want to see the poison dog, it also is on my YouTube channel. It's one of my later videos. Gonna have to scroll down a little bit to s to find it. So uh, yeah. Um, this is Catswag. See you guys next time. Bye bye.